what how was it that you came about calling me tonight okay I came to visit my father who's in town from California okay who was actually the person who did call me but I, I'll get to that later um, my friend Bailey lives right down the street and I went to go see him and visit him while my dad was in the shower so down, figured, the, down the street from um, my dad's house he lives at 4860 Hope Spring Drive and Bailey lives what's his name my dad's name uh-huh. is Rafael Torres. Okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. All right. And then um, Bailey lives. Oh, geez. It's right next to the mailbox. <laughs> it's the pink house, as I, I guess you can say. Same street. Hope it's Green same Drive. street. It's about maybe two or three houses away from Casey's house. Okay. And he owns his own carpet cleaning services, and I had figured I'd stop by to say hi to him because I've known him for years. And I love his, his wife and him. They're just beautiful people. And I got in there, and we were talking about life and everything. And he had asked me do you remember Casey? And I said, yeah, I talked to her a few weeks ago. And we started talking about the issue. He goes, well, if you know about this stuff, you need to call somebody and let somebody know. And I was like, well, I was just going to let Mom Anthony know. You know, I figured, what the heck, whatever. And he's like, no, don't talk to her because she's, she's, has, she's having issues and she'll start a fight. Um, you need to talk to a detective. You need to talk to an investigator. And he had mentioned that Brian, um, had seen a detective about a shovel or something. I don't know. Whatever. Did he tell you anything about the shovel? Or? All I know about the shovel was that he said that the shovel belonged to him and that Casey borrowed it. Okay. That's all I know. Okay. Other than that, then that's pretty much that's where it was left. And I was like, okay, well, I guess she borrowed a shovel. <laughs> right. You know? So it kind of made me laugh a little bit. And then um, he contacted Brian, and Brian in turn gave him the phone number and the name your name right and then i got the phone number and stuff information from him and then i called you so it's a big tree basically yeah when you when you heard about the shovel Mm -hmm. what did you think in your mind did you did you think something might have happened where we is that what brought us out here to this favorite spot it did because start things started to click in my head and all i could think about was shovel tell me what those things were that were clicking in your head that made you put shovel and this secluded area back here together. Um, well, first of all, there's tons and tons of shading. Not a lot of people know about the spot unless you're a teenager or a kid. Right. And most of the kids don't come down here now because I guess they have defenses, and I didn't know about that. But back in the day, this was a hot spot. Okay. This was where teenagers that were older than us would come out here and back over there, um, which is across the street from Hidden Oaks, they used to come back there and do you know mommy daddy things as we used to call them and we used to come back here and have picnics and Mm -hmm. we were pretty much the only ones that knew about it for years and it's only a spot that i guess maybe me and her and jessica knew about and that was it Um, uh, this next question if you don't know the answer please don't answer it or if you don't feel comfortable answering it i mean don't answer it yeah um i don't know casey i know i talked to her for for several hours um you've known her you grew up with her in your opinion of of the person that you know Casey have you ever seen a a, a, the Casey I talked to very nice very intelligent well spoken sincerely thinks that she gave her child to a babysitter or to the babysitter did you ever know this babysitter that she talked about this is a native person do you know it is a native the only i think i read somewhere on the news that it was like last name is gonzalez right the only gonzalez lady that i know that is hispanic lives right down the street from us and she Uh, doesn't babysit children she has her own kids to take care of what's um oh god mom that's on hope spring too yeah it's on hope spring also it's um yvette gonzalez i think her i know we call her mama yvette she was one of our band moms and she lives right on the curb. I can actually take you to the house if you'd like. I have her address. Yeah. Has has Casey ever told you anything about child care? Who takes care of Kaylee? Um. Oh, geez. Let me think. When she was working, who was taking care of Kaylee? Mom, Grandpa. Mom and Grandpa. Has Casey ever lied to you that you know of? Um. Once, yeah. When she told me she was working at the Kodak, um, which was at 
uh, the mummy, which made no sense to me. Right. Because Kodak's been gone from Universal for, I want to say, when I was working on the Hulk, which was years ago, and we got color vision, and Kodak is nowhere to be found in the park anymore. Okay. And I was working at the mummy when she said she was working there, which is not true. Is there a side of Casey that you've ever seen? Casey, I know, is a nice girl. Mm -hmm. Is there a different side of Casey that I don't know that you've ever seen? The only time Can I she really mean? Can she? Uh, you think if she drinks? Okay. If she drinks, she does have her moments. But, um, I know. I can't really say she is, but I have a very strong feeling she is bipolar. Right. Um, she has called me before. Back in the day, I remember after she had the baby, when we were actually talking a lot, mm -hmm. she would call, um, ask me a couple questions, and then call back the next day, and I'd have the answer to the questions, and she'd be like, I never asked you that. So it was kind of like one of those things, like, she would ask me something, let's say on Monday, and right. then I'd call her back on Wednesday to let her know the answers, and she'd be like, we never talked on Monday. Do you think she was sincere when she said that you all never talked? I mean, was it? did it sound yeah, real? She wasn't did. trying just to trip yeah. you up? Which is what drives me insane because Casey was never like this when we were in high school or in middle school. She was perfectly fine. And it was after she had the babies when the issue started. I mean, the boyfriends, I don't even want to get started on that. I could not keep, I could not keep track on who she was dating and who she was with. Okay. Um, I know what she would do in spite of her mother because her mother did, I don't know how you say it, but um, push her really, really hard. Like to do the right things right. and Just be the perfect, the all American girl, so. yeah. And she, in spite of her mother, because her mother, she won't admit it, but my mother will tell you this. Most of the people that live there will mm -hmm. tell you this. Her mother does not like Hispanic people. And most of the guys she was with were mm -hmm. either Hispanic or of a different race. Do, uh, did Casey mention any of her boyfriend's names? Back when you saw her at the Walmart? No. Y'all talking about boys her. at all? No. She'd asked me, she had asked me about my ring because I'm engaged. And I said, oh, I'm engaged to Nick. And right. that was pretty much it. I didn't ask her about if she was in any guys because, you know. Okay. I didn't think that she would be with somebody. I mean, she has a kid for crying out loud. Okay. But, I don't know. Um, is there anything that you think is important that might help us figure out what happened to, to Kaylee? Because I haven't asked you because I... I'm old and forget things. And I mean, if there's something you think is burning in your mind that you want to tell me that I hadn't asked you, please, please, please what tell do you me. Think. Oh, jeez. I do have. I would like, and you don't have. You can tell me. Forget it. You don't mm -hmm. have to cooperate. Like I told you on tape here, I appreciate your help. Anything you can do to help us is great. Uh, I would like to maybe try to get an itemized T-Mobile. You have a T-Mobile. Yeah, we have T-Mobile. Bill, um, billing uh, at least for July yeah. to see if we can track down that number that uh, Casey called you from to okay. see so we can put her with uh, maybe somebody else's cell phone somebody else's apartment yeah, and try to work back Cause what we're trying to do is I mean she told us uh, that Kaylee was dropped off way 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 back you know it's been a month I think so if you actually okay. maybe heard her voice July 9th, that's important. Yeah. It's encouraging and it's important. So, I mean, and the only thing that I have concern is that I know the whole adoption thing. That's my only thing is that I know she would be stupid enough to give up her child for adoption and not tell anybody or just give her child to someone if it got to the point that her mother drove her up the wall so bad. And like I've said, she has issues. She does. Right. I don't know if she's ever seeked medical attention. I know at one point, um, the first time that I saw her back at Universal, like years ago, um, I told her she needed to get help. Right. And I don't know if she ever did or not. Okay. Well, I appreciate meeting with you. Raise your right hand for me. You swear everything you told me today is the truth? Yes, sir. All right, you can put your hand down. And we'll conclude this interview at 2212 hours.